So as a kid, I grew up in a Christian home. Um, I was very fortunate to have two parents that loved Jesus. Um, but I had an older brother who um, wasn't exactly like following the faith. So I was kind of always in and out of um, whether I should choose Jesus or choose um, the ways of the world, I guess you could say. Um, you know, drinking, um, partying, um, hanging out with girls and whatnot. Um, and so, yeah, I think I, uh, I really struggled with this idea of idolizing women. And just like ever since I was a kid, just this idea of just like loving, like this idea of the perfect wife, you know, and just she's beautiful. She loves Jesus. She's going to do missions with me. And I just created like this list, this checklist of everything I wanted in my wife. And I would just go looking for her. And so I would go to all these different churches, different um, Christian clubs on campus. And then I started looking in non-Christian groups because who knows, she could become a Christian at some point in my life. Um, and so, yeah, obviously I, I got into some really good relationships and then some like not so healthy. And um, it was a, a slow process of every night I'd kind of go to bed, kind of just like hoping and dreaming about this girl. And uh, yeah, I think the life-changing um, story that I kind of wanted to talk about today um, was I was tree planting about two and a half years ago in BC and um, there was no girls there and so so for the first time in my life I experienced loneliness and it was I don't know I'm a very extroverted person like I'm a very social guy so for me like feeling this loneliness I was like this is, I just picture some guy in a corner like crying but like for me it was like this idea that I couldn't talk to girls and socialize and like kind of like romanticize about like my wife and and so for the first time I was like why like why do I feel so empty in this place like there's a bunch of good guys here tree planting with but it was just like for the first time it just felt like a real emptiness in my heart and then I went to uh, so I was in BC northern BC Prince George and then I went down to Vancouver um, with one of my best friends there and uh, I went to this conference I'd ne I'll never forget it and this lady um, she was about 30, 35, 36 years old, and she was talking about how when she came to Christ, um, God just completely like revealed to her that she didn't need a husband, that all she needed was Jesus Christ. Um, and so she said, from that time on, I just put on these blinders, and I stopped looking at guys and trying to pursue them, and instead I just chased after Jesus my entire life. And and then right after, when she was 36, she's like, okay, God, like now I want to... Um, I want to get married, I want to have a family. And so then, like, a year later, she meets this guy, and they get married. And I was sitting there, and I was like, oh, my goodness. It all came together. Why was I lonely? Why was I feeling like crap? Like, what is, like, it, aren't I supposed to want to get married? But then I realized, like, I was just, like, idolizing. I was putting my pursuit of a wife more so than Jesus Christ. And, and it was really, really life-changing. And from that point on, like, the scripture became alive in me, like, everything I read was just like real and it was literally the bread of life instead of just like just another like Bible verse or something that my mom's trying to you know tell me just so that I won't like be an idiot and <laughs> make bad decisions you know um, and so it's been it's been a real uh, transformation it was just like God just like completely came in and like just like com took away any desire for any sort of alcohol or drugs or or this pursuit of this girl and yeah, like two and a half years later, like God has um, introduced me to like this amazing girl and I'm like dating her now and easily see myself marrying her. But knowing that it is God that's like fully in control and, you know, if it works out, then it's because of his, his plan. And if it doesn't, it doesn't.